The overall goal of this in vitro functional assay is to assess various aspects of FC-mediated phagocytosis. This method can help answer key questions in the immunohematology and blood transfusion medicine fields, such as what is the clinical significance of auto and allo antibodies to red blood cells. This technique provides a functional biological assay that can be performed in vitro for predicting the outcome of transfusion in those patients with preformed antibodies against red blood cells. Demonstrating the procedure will be Cindy Tong, a graduate student from my laboratory. Now don't forget that working with human blood can be hazardous and that precautions such as wearing protective gowns and gloves should always be taken while performing this procedure. After obtaining one to two 10 milliliter whole blood samples from a healthy donor in vacutainer tubes containing acid citrate dextrose by venipuncture, the tubes are placed into a class two biosafety cabinet and the blood diluted at a one to one ratio in warm complete medium. Next, slowly pipette the blood cells down the side of a centrifuge tube onto room temperature density gradient, taking care not to mix the layers. Separate the cells by centrifugation. Then, discard the top plasma layer and use a glass pasture pipette to transfer the PBMC containing Buffy coat into a new 15 milliliter tube. Wash the isolated PBMCs three times in PBS, resuspending the cells in three to seven milliliters of medium after third centrifugation. After counting,